All right, time to dive into XGen and creating interactive hair. Select the skull cap, go under generate, and then select create interactive groom slides. Ready, set, give Todd some hair. We're done, that's it, go home, no more to see. Hit render. Well, there's the hair, still some work to do. Next part is shaping the hair, size of hair, little things like that that will give Todd a very nice looking hair on top of his head. I'm going to first change the color of the skull cap. Then jumping to the attribute editor. And I'll pick a skin color. I'll jump back to the XGen editor. I'll expand the description. Sculpt are for the sculpting tools and scale is for the scaling of the hair. With the description selected, going under workspace, I'm going to select the XGen interactive groom workspace. And that doubles up this attribute area channel box side off to the right. From here, we can adjust the look of the hair strands the width, thicker, which you really don't want, too thick, too billboardy, thinner, and increasing the taper. It gets thinner as it gets closer to the top. To thicken the hair up, go to the description of the base node, and under density, increase the density. And excellent, but we're back to that helmet looking hair maybe a little too dense for now. Give your viewport a little time to update. That's something we can work with. Now time to increase the overall length of the hair to start with before the grooming begins. Selecting scale and increasing the scale. Before we continue with this, hit a quick render. All right, still have some work to do. You'll use the XGen combing tools up here, comb and grab. If you don't see these tools, you can also access them under create interactive grooming tools. And then you could just tear off this box to have access to the same tools. Comb brush, grab brush. I'm gonna pick up the comb brush and off into the brush settings, I'm going to click on tool settings and select Clyde with mesh. This will prevent the hair from going through the skull cap. You can increase the brush size using the B key to increase and decrease. And M is the magnitude, dragging up and down with the mouse, holding down the M key and B key dragging left and right will give you the control that you need for combing. And then just comb away. Looks like our character is suffering from 70s disco hair. So we'll just comb it out for our character. I'm going to decrease the density. Back to the attributes. Go into description, make it less. I always get increase it again. Change the color, go to the description and go to the description base and go to the hair physical shader mode. And here you can change the color of the hair. Let's say it starts out a little red and the tip color ends up to be blue. And continue scoping the hair. You also can add modifiers. One modifier to add is noise. So 
another modifier would be clump, how hair clings together. 